I'm Chris Hernandez. I'm a marketing manager here at McFarland Toys. We're here at New York Toy Fair 2020 at the McFarland Toys booth. And I want to take you guys through a little tour of our DC selection right now. So beginning in January of this year, uh, we were able to get the DC license uh, live and ready to go in store shelves. So we were really excited about it. And so we had yeah, our... Yeah, that was like a New Year's uh, holiday uh, extra gift. <laughs> yeah, it was neat because um, we uh, we acquired a license and we had in discussions with Warner Brothers and uh, DC. They were saying, you know, we really can't do any official announcement until that turn of the year. So all of us in internally were trying to chomp it at the bit, keeping our mouths shut. And finally, when we were able to talk about it, it was publicly, it was really, really great. And um, it was really cool because we were able to work on some awesome, awesome line of fig an awesome line of figures and uh, to kind of start off with a bang. And then it's just uh, taking that momentum into 2020 and making more figures that I think a lot of fans will enjoy. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our new content. Tune in for weekly and bi-weekly vid series all about the futuristic that beyond. What are we looking at animated wise? Um, we already talked about how we got the blue variant. We already have the Batman animated, uh, Superman animated. Mm -hmm. John Stewart Green Lantern, talk about what we have so far and then maybe what we have to come. Yeah, so when we, we first got the DC license, as I keep saying, like, um, we kind of have a full game. We, uh, we can do, you know, TV properties, we can do movie properties, we can do video games, comics, you name it, we can do it under the, under the DC that umbrella. That's so awesome. So <laughs> we kind of, with the, this initial wave, we kind of did all of it and we're kind of trying to see, you know, what works, what we can improve on and things like that and assess. So with the animated figures, we know traditional Batman, Superman came out that threw in John Stewart Green Lantern and uh, it was fun a unique way to kind of bring uh, we haven't really done this style of figure before in the past you know and this style of animation so it was kind of a new little challenge for us we wanted to put our own spin on it and then as far as animated series down the road um, I do know that you know we're kind of maybe having some stuff in the works um, can't necessarily say what just yet okay. but I mean there are, there are characters <laughs> out there like you know like Cyborg and other characters that we're, we have in our, our eyes on and just kind of looking at that 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 style um, it's been really positive reviews, and we're really happy to keep the fans engaged. We keep want those comments, and so, so far, I think we're doing all right. Nice. Agreed. All right, awesome, Chris. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank all you. Right. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel and share this video with other Bat fans beyond who would also like this kind of content. In addition to this new clip-style series you saw today, we also have a bunch of interviews here on the channel with cast and crew from Batman Beyond, including both Batman of the Future, Kevin Conroy, and Will Friedle. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel for more interview content as well.